to my youtube channel um i'm back with another video okay i am loving the consistency <laughs> i hope you guys are too and i'm trying to do like one video a week i hope i don't run out of ideas for you guys but today i am doing my first ever foundation review and i'm doing the wet and wild photo focus foundation and this foundation is a dewy finish and it retails for 120 okay i think the foundation retails for 120 or 140 less than definitely less than 150 rands and i am obviously going to be showing you guys how i use the, this foundation i'm going to be doing one side of my face with a sponge and then the other side with a brush and then you will see how both sides look um if you want to use either one and if i like this foundation or not so if you are interested in seeing and learning or if you want to try this foundation please continue to watch one more thing please don't forget to like this video um if you do enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and please leave a comment below on what foundations you would like to see me review next okay so let's get right into this um i'm gonna read the specs on the on what the foundation is first it's got 12 18 24 25 shades it's got 25 shades and this is what it claims wet and wild photo focus foundation um is a high performing skin perfecting foundation that underwent testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver a flawless camera ready makeup every time especially made with a matte okay mine is a dewy one but especially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give you to give your skin no falter perfection that is a big claim and i'm gonna be going out today so i'm gonna be spending pretty much the whole day in the foundation and that will be my weight test and i'm not sure if i'm gonna come back to show you guys how it looks at the end of the day if i can i i i, I definitely will but if i can't i'll probably let you know in my next video or something um but the one thing that i always look for in a foundation is coverage because i'm i don't really have spots right now um i mean this is as good as my skin is gonna get given the fact that i have some um acne scars right here from when i was a teenager but um the one thing that i always look for i like a full coverage foundation and i am lately um, moving more towards dewy finish foundations which is why i got this one because the original one is matte the one that came um that's been in the market for years and this is what the foundation looks like and i took the shade caramel it's a it's a medium deep shade and it is warm um they i did swatch this i, I couldn't swatch this on in the store so i had to do it when i get home but it was a pretty good match and the foundation inside has got like a spatula and it's pretty runny like and the spatula takes out like quite a lot of foundation so you probably need to go one or two times only back in inside the container and i will say that if you're going to be using this foundation for your clients please um dispense it on the back of your hand rather than directly on the face because the spatula obviously is going to be going back inside the uh, the, the container but i intend on using this foundation only on myself and not on my clients um so i i think i can go directly on my face with it so i've already moisturized my skin and as you can see my brows are done i'm gonna be going now with my primer and since this foundation does not um have flashback like in like different lightings or if you're going to be using flash to take your pictures in a photo shoot or whatever it means that the foundation does not have spf because that white thing that you get in in in, in sunscreen that's what gives you flashback when you take 
photos and then you see that white cast on your face even though you thought that your foundation was matching your skin so i am gonna be going in with my sunscreen because i am going out for the day and i still need to protect my skin underneath i always use this um sunscreen by userin it's the high protection it's spf 50 the photo aging control and i really don't use a lot like about that much for my whole face because it gets you quite oily one and it also pretty fluid as well so it spreads out really nice without you struggling so you really don't need a lot but if you know you're going to a photo shoot i definitely wouldn't suggest that you use sunscreen under because that's when you're going to get that white ish cast on your face and then i'm going to follow that with my benefit um professional primer it's the matte rescue so it's the matte one Okay, my face is now primed. I'm gonna be using a brush on the one side of my face and a sponge on the one side of my face, just so that you guys can see if the finish and the texture of the foundation on the skin is different if you use either one. The foundation is pretty liquid, you guys. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna dispense the product on the back of my hand rather than on my face. Just so that if it's one of those foundations that sits in one place and I haven't blended that area yet, that I'm not, you know, worried or run into any trouble. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit and like that and then start applying. Foundation always looks so yellow on my face when I apply it and then it sits into my complexion like i don't know if it's my skin or what but that is always 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 the case it is quite dewy and like quite watery but the coverage is really nice this looks a bit too watery for my liking but let's give it a chance and we'll see I'm liking the finish of this foundation I'm just wondering how it holds up with powder when I do eventually add the powder I am looking a bit too golden I mean like too yellow at the moment but let me do the other side and then I'll come back so now I'm gonna do the other side with my sponge okay so i will say that if you want more coverage definitely use the brush um and if you want but i do like the sponge side because it's got more of a blended seamless finish than the side of the brush and the side of the brush really has more coverage but i feel like you can always build it up with the sponge so i like how it looks with the sponge versus the brush now this foundation is dewy all right like my face is looking so dewy right now i'm sure you guys can see and uh, sometimes it worries me because when you put powder on top it becomes a mess but let's not judge it too soon i'm gonna be going in with my maybelline instant eraser concealer one thing i like about this concealer guys i will say i know this is a foundation review and not other products is that you can see how much product you have left so as you wind it this plastic thing goes down and then it shows you how much product you have left and i think that's really cool
and to contour i'm gonna be using i've been really loving this product you guys even for my clients i have not put it down since the day that i got it my LD cosmetics contour palette and it's the cream one and i'm just gonna be picking up a combination of these two shades that's what's perfect for me to contour with Okay, let me just put powder all over my face and see how the foundation transforms and then I'm gonna go do the rest of my face off camera and then I will come back once I'm done. So I'm just taking my Crayolin Dermacolor Fixing Powder which is almost finished and I'm just taking this big sponge and I'm just gonna go all over my face with that. I'm also going to be taking my Maybelline, the powder that I used in my last video, the Studio Face Studio Setting Powder. And I'm going to use that with the same sponge to set my under eyes. Now, always check if there aren't any creases before you set, because once you set those creases in place, they're not going to be moving. I like how the foundation the foundation hasn't lost the coverage after I put powder over my face and I pretty much still look the same I still have that dew a little bit and in the parts that I did put a lot of powder obviously it's dry but once I spray it down I think the dew will definitely be back still so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face powder put spray lashes and I'll be back. I'm back and done you guys. I just finished doing the rest of my face and this is how we are looking. Anyways, yeah, this is the final look. I didn't do nothing on the eyes literally. I just did a wing and then I put some dramatic lashes and then I took down my curls guys i'm actually in love with this look i love the foundation i love its coverage i did put a lot of powder i'm not gonna lie so that dewiness um that the foundation claims has kind of died down a little bit but in about an hour or two i know my face it's gonna be back and that is the reason why i put a lot of powder but i love how the foundation looks um, now it's just for me to test how it wears throughout the day. This is my first ever foundation review. Um, please let me know how I did. And then please also let me know which foundation would you like me to review next. And I will take that into consideration. I'll buy the foundation and then I will review it for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching till this far. I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to like the video, to subscribe to my channel. We are almost on 1K subscribers. I'm so excited. <laughs> and please don't forget to comment, leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see next on my channel. I'm gonna try do one video a week. Um, I hope I don't run out of ideas, but yeah, I'm gonna see you on my next one. Mwah.